there is a new addition to Skegness's famous pier, and although it looks like it could come straight from a science fiction film, it's hoped that it could be the future of green energy. It's a turbine which harnesses the seaside resort's famous bracing winds to generate power, and Paul Murphy has been to find out more. Does one of the answers to cheap electricity lie at the end of Skegness Pier? As this Dalek-like structure spins in the east coast breeze, it is generating clean energy. This is only a trial run, but it's creating huge excitement. This is for the entire community. These can be used for residential areas, so blocks of flats or, or care homes so anything. We've got to bear in mind, this brings down the cost of your electricity. So not only is it really good for the environment, it helps those businesses which really are struggling with rising energy costs at the moment. Lincolnshire is one of the first places in the world to trial these mini turbines. One has been installed on a factory roof in Spalding and one here on the pier. We're all used to the sight of huge offshore turbines, but this really is something different. And it could even be scaled down to power an individual home. It's the special design of these machines that allows them to capture the energy of the wind. Regardless of which direction the wind's blowing, what it does, it actually sucks the wind into the centre part of the turbine and actually pushes it up into the actual generator in the turbine itself. So almost acting like a bit of a wind tunnel. So what actually what the, the wind the speed that goes in is a little lower than the wind speed that actually comes out of the top of it, so it actually accelerates the wind. And there's growing interest from local businesses in anything that will help them to reduce energy costs. If you think about the arcades, the pubs, the clubs, even the theme parks, huge amounts of electricity, and if we can power some of it with these, then that's got to be good news, not only for those businesses, because it's much cheaper to have this than, than grid electricity, but also, you know, for the environment as well. With its bracing breezes, the East Coast is an ideal testing ground. So expect to see more of these machines should the trial be deemed a success. Paul Murphy, BBC News, on the Lincolnshire coast. Brilliant, brilliant idea, yeah.